The score is tied and time is winding down. The next goal wins the game. You can feel the tension in the stadium. The last thing any fan wants is to endure the pain of watching their bitter rivals celebrate the win. Like in sports, we can be quick to resort to tribalism in our lives. We can draw close to those most like ourselves while pushing away outsiders. We may do this based on nationality, race, or even with those who hold different beliefs and opinions than our own. As we'll see in the book of Romans, when tribalism creeps into the church, it can have devastating effects. As Paul sat in the double-harbored city of Corinth in Greece, he took some time to contemplate the previous ten years of his life. Looking towards the eastern harbor, he reflected on God's faithfulness, leading him to preach the good news of Jesus throughout all the lands of the northeastern Mediterranean. The ships in the harbor shifted his thoughts to his anticipated journey back to Jerusalem. For months, the churches he planted had been collecting money to send back with Paul to the Jerusalem Christians who were suffering under poverty. His view over the western harbor turned his mind to all the lands still unreached with the good news of Jesus. The anticipation of bringing the message of Jesus to faraway places like Spain excited Paul. Between Greece and Spain, however, lay Italy and Rome, the beating heart of the empire. If he could only get to Rome, he could build a relationship with the fledgling church that had the potential to become the most important in the world. He foresaw them playing a significant role in helping to bring the message of Jesus to the Western Mediterranean. This Christian community in Rome predated Paul's missionary journeys, going all the way back to some of the earliest days of the Jesus movement. When Christianity first reached Rome, it spread mainly among the Jewish community. However, the question about whether or not Jesus was the Messiah divided them. The tension within their community became so great that in the year AD 49, the Emperor Claudius believed they were rioting. He responded by expelling all Jews from the city, regardless of their beliefs about Jesus. This left only a small Gentile Christian population in Rome. With no Jewish influence, these Gentile Christians no longer felt obligated to follow some of the Jewish laws and regulations. Circumcision, dietary laws, along with observance of Sabbath and festivals lost their value and were no longer practiced by the church in Rome. With these laws no longer in place, the church saw tremendous growth among the Gentiles. This Jewish expulsion from Rome lasted until Claudius' death in A.D. 54. Many of the Jews who were forced to flee the city returned to Rome. For the Jewish Christians, the church that they returned to looked quite different from the one that they left five years earlier. They disagreed with many of the changes that they witnessed. Meanwhile, the Gentiles remained unaccommodating of the Jewish laws and traditions. Ethnic pride ruled the hearts of each group as they demonized those who were different. Jewish Christians looked down on the Gentile Christians as ignorant, unclean, and irreverent, disrespecting the sacred laws of Moses. Gentile Christians, on the other hand, scoffed at Jewish Christians, accusing them of abandoning the good news of Jesus in their obsession with legalistic details. This pride and discrimination fractured the Roman church. Paul recognized the growing influence of this church and knew how important it was for them to reflect the love and unity that only Christ can bring. Because Paul had never been to Rome, he wrote them a letter of introduction first to demonstrate himself as a true apostle of Christ who preaches a sound gospel message. In this letter, he explains the gospel in a way that addresses their tribalism and replaces it with unity, equality, and value for every Jew and every Gentile. Paul reminds them that a person's good works, or even their heritage, does not influence their standing before God. 
Every Jew and every Gentile is equally flawed and can be reconciled to God in only one way. That is, by God's grace through faith in Jesus. When we apply the Romans effect, walls of hostility are broken down, differences are embraced, and through our unity, the grace of Christ shines forth to the world. All our videos are created through donations from our viewers. No donation is too small and everything goes directly towards a creation of more of these videos for the whole Bible. Please take a few minutes and go to our website, thebibleeffect.com, and see how God will use your generosity to impact thousands of people around the world. Thanks for watching.